Approaching two minutes to go. In the flat. Can Cole Taylor get there? No, nowhere near the line to make. Tried to go up and over and could not escape from Marco Wilson and Trevez Johnson. I think the penalty is going to be because one of the Florida defensive players ripped off the cleat of 87 and threw it down the field. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 11 of the defense. Throwing the LSU player's shoe 20 yards down the field. Unsport uh, this, that's his first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. Automatic first down. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard an official announce throwing a player's shoe. Well, it and it wasn't 11. 11. It was Marco Wilson. Right, it was three. And Marco Wilson's got to know better than that. He's There's a no reason guy. to do it. I, I saw a cleat going through the fog. And I couldn't believe it. And then the flags all came in. And I think what, what I'm seeing here, Andre, is if these two guys can run the football, all of a sudden you've freed up Joshua Dobbs. You've taken a lot of pressure off your quarterback. We got thunder and lightning. We got it. <laughs> we got a. <laughs> we got an equipment issue for Bowling Green. Lost his shoe. Realized he wasn't going to be able to get off the field in time, so he just went down. <laughs> a non-touchdown that was ruled. And it's David Konowalski. Yep. He decided he could not go on without his cleats. Or pardon me, and Mike Mims. I think Mike Mims wasn't going to make it. Now it's the time to respond. Thank you, Heather. Watson trying to respond with a downfield throw into traffic. It's a battle there as Mike Williams was well defended. Great, the... great throw, but it was really all about the adjustment back to the ball. We've seen that all night from these Clemson receivers. And then the focus and concentration. Be... Carlo Kemp. Guys, watch this. They untied the shoe of Dobbins down there. Look at him. Hutchinson and Kemp, they're working on the shoe, and then they pulled it off of his foot. Dobbins looks back like, hey. Graham Mertz on second and ten. Finds Jake Ferguson and the Well, that's not the ball. It's a shoe that pops free <laughs> as he's brought down shy of the 20-yard line. He lost his right shoe. I certainly thought that was the ball. I really did. I said, Jake Hansen again? Another forced fumble? Look at that. How did it have that much velocity? <laughs> I've seen some shoes come off, but not like that. <laughs> Darren Tannell keeping it and diving for the first down. He was one-on-one -on -one there with Zach Daw, who was a high school wrestling champ in the state of Utah two times, but he couldn't wrap up the quarterback that time and pin him. So it's first and ten. Hey, guys, a BYU defender literally just took the shoe off of Jarrett Garantano and threw it onto the Tennessee sideline. When I say threw it, I mean it looked like a punt. You can see right here, that's where the scrum is. Oh, it's Daw. Well, there it is on the right. There he is, 99. Yeah, Daw, who missed that tackle, they may be frustrated. Mon steps up in the pocket, sees some room to run, and he will scamper. To the 15, to the 10. Big hit at the five yard line as he is popped there, but a flag comes out at the end of that play after a 25 yard gain by Kellen Mond. There's all kinds of flags pushing and shoving going on. CJ Morgan was the man who came up to make the hit on Mond. The play was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number 76 on the offense. 76 first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. A true freshman. There's an injured Seminole, and it's a player that they cannot afford to lose. Hamsa Nazrul Dean, one of their best players, injured. Meanwhile, we have seen something that uh, we've only seen one other time in recent history Zion Williamson blowing out a shoe for the Duke Blue Devils. That's what Nazrul Dean did. It is. The sole of the shoe separated from the cleat <laughs> on that last play. He's an explosive guy like Zion, though, so it should be really no surprise. Straight to 10 of the 28. And here's Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott lost his shoe. He's still hoofing. <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott down at the 10 yard line. Feet don't fail me now. 
I will say this. My guess is that Secretariat, Sea Biscuit, Man of War, if they ever threw a shoe, they weren't slowing down either. Neither is Ezekiel Elliott. So they've got to have it out of his hand quick, and they've got to move the launch point, meaning he'll have to sprint right or left, have a play action pass, but they're going to have to start doing more of that. Josh Harvey Clemens is down on the ground, arguably Louisville's best defensive player. Was a very player. good defense last year to begin with. And perhaps more cramping is an issue here. And it's already been a problem tonight. Again, not sure if that's the issue. They have removed his shoe and he is coming off the field. And he gives to Byers. Byers has the corner. He has the first down and look out. He threw his shoe. He's running without a shoe for the touchdown. the right audible and then of course Keith Byers tremendous skills you there he threw his shoe it's, we talked about shoes you saw the size 17 of Carowitz well his size eight or nine is out there in the floor somewhere Keaton escapes some pressure Chucky Keaton will run with it and Keaton gets out of bounds for the first down at the 28 yard line he lost his shoe back at the 45. First of all, a great bull rush by Jacoby Hale, and he almost makes the play. Keaton loses his shoe, but look how he keeps himself together, gets the first down. Well, the Hoosiers down 21 to three with 4.42 to go in the opening quarter. <laughs> Jermaine Carter losing his shoe and says, I'm staying, I'll play with one cleat. Look at that. Push in motion. Pet away. Chipping his way forward as he crosses the 45 up to the 47. Kane this game tied for 13th in college football. Seconds. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen this I've happen. I've never seen that before in my life. <laughs> That's Anthony Cook on the other side. Stuck at the bottom of the pile. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's Josh Sills, the left guard. No malice there. No just, malice. Just a stuck shoe. Get your foot out of my face. Red <laughs> <laughs> Runner, big plays have made a difference. And here's another one for guess who? Deontay. All the way. Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous effort showing you the vision. How he's able to keep people off his legs. Lost his shoe. 